Reason number one. Shane Black typically recycles the same people in all of his movies. RDJ and Kiss Kiss Bang Bang in Iron Man 3, Ty Simpkins in these two movies, and Joe Silver produced The Last Boy Scout and The Nice Guys for him. Reason number two. All Shane Black movies take place during Christmas or include themes tied to the holiday. All of these films take place during Christmas and in The Last Boy Scout, Here's a picture of Santa Claus drawn by Joe's daughter. Reason number three. All Shane Black movies start off with the voiceover from the main character. In addition to the voiceover, you always get to understand the main character's thoughts more because there's a flashback scene in every Shane Black movie. Reason number five. An unlikely pair usually teams up to solve a mystery. One of the members of the team has played a hero in a comic book movie at some point or another. Kal-El's daddy in Man of Steel, Iron Man in Iron Man, and Frank Moses in Red. Reason number six. The tag team always has to bend the rules to solve the case, but they suck at breaking the law. There's always a scene where they trespass on a private property and get caught. Stark jumps the gate in Iron Man 3 and is taken hostage after he gets caught. Holland breaks the window, but doesn't even make it into the building. Jimmy and Joe make it past security, but get caught by the henchman in the owner's office. And Harry gets caught stealing Xboxes and gets shot at after that. Reason number seven. One of the teammates is always dealing with women problems and is stressed out because of it during the investigation. Jimmy's girlfriend got shot right in front of him and it's taken a toll on him. Holland's wife died and it's all his fault. Harry slept with Harmony's best friend and it takes most of the movie for Harmony to forgive him. And Tony had a one night stand that comes back to haunt him and Pepper. Plus, Pepper's super pissed that he isn't spending quality time with her. Reason number eight. There's always a kid sidekick as well that helps solve the problem. Harley helps Iron Man. Holly helps her dad. Darian helps her dad. And Jenna, Harmony's kid sister, hires Perry to investigate the bad guy. It's a bad idea to involve kids in matters like these. And the plan always backfires because the kid always gets put in danger. These kids are kidnapped and Jenna dies. Reason number 10. All Shane Black movies portray women as hoes, strippers, or prostitutes. There's the porn stars in The Nice Guys, the exotic dancers in The Last Boy Scout and Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, and the hookers in Iron Man 3. Reason number 11. You should never trust hot women in Shane Black movies because they're always double-crossing the good guys. Maya Hansen double-crosses Pepper and hands her over to Killian. Sarah double-crosses Joe and cheats on him while he's out on business. In The Nice Guys, Tally double-crosses Holland by busting a cap. And in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, Harmony's best friend double crosses her by sleeping with Harry even though she knew he was off limits. Also, all Shane Black movies have a party scene that gives the director an excuse to show hot women in their bikinis. Half naked women walk around in the beauty pageant and there's women in their bikinis at the rich man's pool party. There's always a rich man's house located in Los Angeles in all Shane Black movies. Since the films always take place in Hollywood, it's understandable why all Shane Black movies involve a celebrity and someone acts like a groupie when they see him. The kid from A Christmas Story asks Iron Man for his autograph and this guy even has his face tatted on his body. The kid from The Last Boy Scout asks Jimmy the former QB for his autograph. Harry becomes a groupie when he recognizes Harmony from the Gennaro's commercial. And Jackson is recognized by everybody from his glory days. Reason number 15. All Shane Black movies have at least one character with a serious hand injury. He loses a finger, he gets his hand broken, he gets shot in his hand, and she loses her arm in the military. Reason number 16. In all Shane Black movies, there's always a government conspiracy. The vice president is corrupt in Iron Man 3. The senator is corrupt in The Last Boy Scout. Amelia's mom works for the United States Department of Justice, and she's corrupt in The Nice Guys. And although Dexter is the corrupt one, in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, he uses an imposter to get a case dismissed. So the United States Department of Justice has a blemish on its record. Speaking of conspiracies, there's always an imposter in all Shane Black movies. Veronica's dad hires a lookalike to act like his daughter. Saban dresses up like Iron Patriot to fool the president. A hitman named John Boy impersonates a doctor right before he tries to kill Amelia and Holly. And when Jimmy first meets Joe, Joe lies about being Corey's bodyguard instead of a private investigator. Reason number 18. In all Shane Black movies, there's a framing for a murder. The extremist soldier frames Iron and Patriot for killing all those people on the plane. Jack frames the hit and run driver for the death of one of the bad guys, but it's actually him that kills him. The henchmen plan a murder weapon at Joe's house, and the bad guys plan a murder weapon at Harry's hotel to lead the cops to him. Reason number 19. All Shane Black movies should be sponsored by State Farm, because there's always a scene where a car drives off a cliff and gets totaled. Reason number 20. There's always a scene in every Shane Black movie where the hero gets hit by a car and survives. Reason number 21. 
All Shane Black movies include a scene where one of the good guys fall from heights that should kill them, or at least break a bone, but they live to tell about it. Reason number 22. All Shane Black movies have a bad guy who attacked the hero's house. Joe is kidnapped on his front lawn, a dead body is planted at Harry's hotel, and the hitmen in these movies shoot up the bad guy's house like ba da 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 ba da 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 ba da 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 Reason number 23. The bad guy's plans are spoiled when the good guys find incriminating evidence on a tape of some sorts. Stark found a tape of the extremist trials. Jimmy and Joe listen to the tape with a recorded phone conversation between the senator and stallion's owner. Harry and Harmony find a porno video with the villain on it, and Holland finds a porno video exposing the automobile industry at the dead girl's grandma's house. Reason number 24. A wise man once said, You know, guns don't kill people. Stupid mother with guns kill people. This is true, but in Shane Black movies, black people can't kill people either. These black gunmen have their guns pointed directly at the hostage and still lets them get away. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <gasps>